Hi guys, it's me. I know it's late. I just wanted to go over a couple of things because um, I've been hearing a lot from you guys in the classroom. Um, okay, a lot of you are starting to message me in the assignments telling me this won't open, this doesn't work. Um, I'm trying to do this on my phone and I can't. If you are working on your phone, for all of your classrooms, this counts. You have to download the three apps to get the work done in Google Classroom. You need the Google Classroom app, you need the Google Docs app, and you need the Google Slides app. Download the three of them onto your phone, and this way you can just tap the Google Classroom icon to go straight into your classrooms, and you'll see it's a lot easier to navigate. You can see your to-do list. You'll get notifications up on the top of your phone when something new gets posted in your classroom from your teacher. Um, it'll also make it possible for you to actually open up the assignments and complete them, right? Whether you have to type in a doc or you have to open a slideshow and manipulate slides, click and drag, open a video, type in a box, you'll be able to do those things if you have those three apps on your phone. If you're working on your phone and you're still interested in getting a computer, maybe you don't have enough computers in your house or maybe you never got one from the school district to begin with, at this point, you should have a grown up call the school directly, call Hackett Middle School. You'll get the answering machine because no one's there, but they can check the messages from home. You'll leave your student name and your student ID number and the grade that you're in and a phone number where Mr. Polino can get back to you. And this way someone will call you back and they'll make arrangements for you to get a computer in your house. If you got four or five kids in your house and you're all trying to share one district computer, say that on the message because there will be a second round of computer distri distribution and you may be able to get a machine that way. So I just want to let you know about Google Classroom. So I went in today and I cleaned up some of the assignments that were cluttering things. Something happened with the Bill Nye video quiz where it wasn't saying you were done and you guys were trying to turn it in and hit submit and mark is done and it kept showing back up on your Google Classroom as missing. So at this point, I've removed those from the classroom um, so that they don't show up in your to-do list anymore. If you didn't get to it, if you didn't get to say survey analysis or, or the Bill Nye video quiz, just, just consider it a wash, okay? You're not gonna get a zero. It'll just be blank in your school tool. So in the meantime, I am still going to be collecting, I am still collecting the homework questions I sent you home with on March 13th. Now that assignment originally appeared in the big Google Classroom that everybody was in. And since then I kind of reposted it in the individual classrooms and it says, remember that homework from March 13th? So please, if you have not turned that in, you need to go in there, pop in your answers and turn it in. Please do not hit submit on a blank document thinking that I'm just gonna look and say, oh, they submitted it, they get a 10 out of 10, because I am actually looking at them and scoring them. Okay, so please get that done. I'll still take submissions on the Savage Survey, and I will still take uh, submissions on the graphing practice game. Now the graphing practice game required you to take a screenshot of, your, of where you did the game and turn it that in, and some of you struggled with that. So I posted a short video, with directions on exactly how to do that earlier this week. And I also put that on the Google Classroom under the materials tab so that you can find it if you need help. And it just says how to submit a screenshot. All right, the pitch and volume assignment that I gave yesterday in the classroom um, will count for quarter four. And that one is due tomorrow because I wanna move on, okay? So I'm just gonna give you uh, a clue about pitch and then a clue, uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna give you a clue about volume first actually, and then I'm gonna give you a clue about pitch. And then tomorrow we'll get into it in more depth. So if you're still working on that and struggling, here you go. Let's talk about volume first. This is the great Jimi Hendrix, arguably one of the best guitarists to ever have walked the face of the earth. Okay, his one of his most famous performances was a live performance at Woodstock um, where he played the national anthem. So I'm gonna play a little tiny clip. I'm gonna go forward. Just could really see him wailing out.
Man, that's loud. All right. So I will put this up and you guys can check it out on your own if you're interested. Um, there's a lot of cleaner videos of his, his playing, but I want you to notice this is not just any old guitar. This one's actually quite loud. Maybe because it's an electric guitar. What makes that guitar so loud? It's plugged into an amplifier. Dig this sweet Marshall stack over here. An amplifier. An amplifier amplifies the amplitude of a wave. Now, that should be a big clue for you as to which wave property is responsible for volume. Now, after that, I will just leave that there. Um, do you guys remember wave on a string? If you remember the wave on a string interactive, I want you to just think about how that worked and our work with slinkies, right? Now, I noticed that the longer pipe that I made a sound with had a deeper sound, a lower pitch than the little tiny pipe that I made a sound with. That had a much higher pitch. So if I could just picture in my head things about frequency and wavelength and maybe go back and watch the video from day six, that would give me a big, big clue about what property of a wave is responsible for pitch. So I hope this helps. Um, I'll see you tomorrow in the classroom. And that's all I have for you today, okay? So make sure if you're on the phone that you get those things on your phone so that you can work with us because we're gonna start moving forward now fast and furious, okay? See you tomorrow.